Next we have uh, next we have Kim Johnson from Go Triangle and Go Smart. Kim Johnson is Go Triangle Travel Transit now Go Triangle for eight years. Kim is the Wake County Employer Outreach Coordinator for Go Smart and Regional Outreach Person for Fortify Road Construction Project. Welcome, Kim. By now, I'm sure you're familiar with at least the basics about the Fortify Road Construction Project. It is a three-year um, project. We're about midway the project. Um, the, it's broken up into two phases. The first phase is from um, 264 and 64 down to the I-4440 split. They're just about finished with that. They're, the only thing that's left is the resurfacing of the road and they'll be complete with that and the second phase is from the split all the way up to us 1 and 64 and they are just in the process of putting up the barricades for that so if you're familiar with traveling this road this stretch of highway some of the areas are already three lanes and some of them go up as far as five lanes the entire corridor will be three lanes with concrete barricades um, for the entire stretch. And that should be up um, by the end of July. There, The DOT is projecting that it will. So um, we're asking people to consider other modes of transportation. You know, if you, um, it's like a tube of toothpaste. If you reduce the amount of space that's inside, it kind of squeezes out. And that's kind of what um, we're expecting for this second phase of the project. Um, just con more congestion. So the NCDOT has joined with Triangle Transit and with, um, well, I'm sorry, just changed her name, with um, Go Triangle and with Go Raleigh. And um, our TDM program is called Go Smart, and they're asking citizens in the triangle to consider other modes of transportation. So just to reduce the number of vehicles that are on the highway, consider carpooling, um, using the bus, van pooling, teleworking, compressed work schedules also help to reduce the um, number of vehicles that are on the highway during um, high commute times, as well as cycling and walking. And there are over 40 parking red lights throughout the triangle. A lot of times people do not consider using another mode of transportation because they don't feel like they live close enough. There's not enough access to where either they work or to where they live. More than likely, most people are um, near a parking red light. So the DOT has added more services um, as well as uh, more bus services rather as well as more van services now you can catch a bus straight into downtown raleigh from places like um, johnson county at the cleveland crossing shopping center and that is a park and road lot and there's a new service um, coming from Pequay green that's the first time ever that they've had bus service there and some of the routes have a feature called bus on shoulder service. So if you've ever been driving down I-40 and you've seen the bus veer off and continue on the shoulder of the road, um, that is exactly what's going on. They are um, allowed during certain portions of the highway to um, bypass the traffic by traveling on the shoulder. And this helps them to stay on schedule. So they've also, um, Create, we've also created more resources to help you to figure out, you know, if there is another commute that may work for you. By um, you can go to our website, um, my40ride.com. It is specifically created for the commuters. So I'm sure if it's something that you're interested in, then there, um, then that is there. There's also the Street Ride DC website that. Um, it's for ride matching if you're trying to figure out car pulling and van pulling. And we have a program called Go Parks where you can win prizes and you can look on the um, website to learn about that too. So the Fortify Construction Project, we're just asking people to make a change. Um, even if it's not um, 
uh, change that you can do every single day. If you can do it one day a week, that makes a big difference. So if 10% of the 110,000 people in that corridor decide that they are going to um, use another mode of transportation like carpooling or um, taking the bus, it reduces 2,200 cars off the road. That's about five and a half miles of traffic a day. And that's it. Thanks, Kim. Um, one, something that occurred to me as I was watching Kim present is that it's something y'all might not know about. Uh, a few years ago when Raleigh had the drought and uh, we messaged everybody to stop using water and we were really successful. The water usage in the city of Raleigh was, was growing, 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 growing. We had the drought and we messaged very clearly to the community, this, we are in a drought, we need to save water, everybody needs to conserve, everybody needs to do their part, everybody needs to change their behaviors, and people responded. They changed their behaviors, used less, much less water, and the amazing thing that happened was after the drought subsided, that usage did not rebound to where it was before. That usage stayed low, and it provided much greater water capacity for our entire community, and I think this is an analogous situation. There is an extreme situation happening uh, with the Fortify project, and if we can market well, if we can position this well and get people into other modes of transit, then we can help free up capacity on our roadways, decrease traffic and congestion, air, increase air quality, all those things. So uh, please do think through how you all can continue to move forward Go Triangle's message of uh, using transit in the Triangle. So thank you, Kim.